Catamarans have been in existence for a long while. However, in the last two decades, they have become a lot more popular among casual day sailors, cruisers, and chatterers. Is sailing a catamaran more difficult? Catamarans never heal over. This makes sailing a catamaran different from sailing a monohull. Certain people will consider this difference to mean more difficulty. It however, is not always the case. Catamarans simply move differently from monohulls, and need their sails trimmed differently. Unlike regular sailboats that are balanced on a single hull, a catamaran has two hulls. The presence of these hulls means better stability, and more room on a catamaran. Due to better stability, a catamaran does not move like a monohull. The implication of this, is you don't need so much water under your catamaran for it to sail, and will put in less energy into sailing. That's not all. You will have to pay attention to other factors you might not consider when sailing a monohull. This can make the entire process more difficult. Making headway when the wind is light is quite difficult when sailing a catamaran. Additionally, the catamaran doesn't seem to react to the wind. Due to this, you might not know when you are overpowered in the presence of a strong wind. You might therefore struggle to discover when things aren't going right. What are the advantages and disadvantages of catamaran? Catamarans are quite different from regular sailboats. Due to this, handling them might be quite difficult. If you have any plans on buying or sailing one, you must know its advantages and its disadvantages. Advantages of Catamarans Catamarans are prestigious boats. This might not mean so much to lots of sailors. Nonetheless, lots of boat owners count it as something of major importance. Catamarans are energy efficient. If you wish to spend some more time sailing but don't want to spend so much on fuel, a catamaran will do you good. This is possible because their hulls have a surface area that is reduced. Catamarans can be maneuvered very easily. One reason for this is they have two engines. With these engines, you can easily maneuver a marina even if it's narrow. While in one place, it is possible to turn the entire catamaran around. You can do this by setting one engine backward and the other forward. With these two engines, the likelihood of the wind pushing the bow towards the right or the left does not exist, as they will always help you navigate backward or forward. When sailing on a catamaran, you won't need a bow thruster because of the 20 feet distance between the two engines. That's not all, their shafts are narrow. This means you can always navigate places that a monohull won't be able to get into. When on the catamaran, you get to enjoy a great deal of stability. This makes it a good sailboat for seniors and children that don't have the same level of steadiness in their legs, as young adults. This boat is stable because it's not quick to react to the effect on the wind. While on the sea, you can move around the deck, as well as in the interior. The effects of the motion when on a catamaran isn't so obvious. This, therefore, makes it a good sailboat for people that have to deal with motion sickness while on board a boat. While anchored and underway, catamarans aren't rocked by the water as other types of sailboats. This, therefore, makes it easy for the cook to carry out their duty. Catamarans offer a huge diving platform. This makes them great for people that do scuba diving. When on a cat, it's easy to move tanks and other equipment you need for diving. When compared to monohulls, catamarans are fast. This is obvious in broad reaches and downwind runs. Catamarans have two hulls. Due to this, their side length is two times the length of regular yachts. This is one reason they're faster than regular sailboats. Furthermore, they lack keels. This makes them lighter, and finally translates into them moving faster. You don't need a bow thruster to dock a catamaran. 
The presence of two rudders and two motors make docking a catamaran quite easy. Disadvantages of catamarans Catamarans are considered prestigious. Due to this, chartering one is more expensive than chartering regular sailboats. There are times this sailboat gets up to 150% times more expensive than other boats of the same length. A catamaran has two hulls. Due to this, it always has a broad bridge deck. The presence of a broad bridge deck in the middle of two hulls could lead to pounding or slapping in heavy seas. This slapping sound gets really annoying after a long while. Although it can be stopped when you reduce sail, reducing sail is equivalent to moving more slowly. A catamaran isn't very reactive to the wind. While this is good for stability, it reduces the feedback that can be gotten from a catamaran's wheel. The implication of this is you need to pay very good attention when in high winds and rough seas. Paying attention is the only way you will know the right time to reduce sail. If you don't reduce sail when you need to, you might just end up surfing down a wave. The cost of docking is more on a catamaran, as doing this for catamarans always requires more space. If you want to read more about catamaran sailing, just click to the link below and read the full blog post. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to have more tips about sailing.